What's up, guys? So I got the question yesterday from a couple different people. What is a chicken tractor? So I thought I would just go over kind of what I'm building and what a chicken tractor is since I'm working on one right now. Um, basically, I got, I got this design from uh, Joel Salatin, who is a uh, famous farmer for um, just his style and method of farming, which is basically to regenerate the soil naturally instead of using chemical fertilizers. Um, so he uses, he talks about, you know, the nitrogen and the um, chicken manure and the droppings to uh, basically fertilize the soil naturally. So anyways, uh, he, he's uh, all about regener regenerative farming and, um, you know, in, um, rotating, rotating uh, the beef cows and the chickens to kind of work together symbiotically. Uh, where the chickens scratch through the patties and they're able to eat, you know, the uh, fly larva out of there and, and the bugs. And, you know, so that produces healthier eggs, cleaner pastures, healthier cattle um, to where you don't have to inject them with vaccines and antibiotics and all that. Um, so uh, he worms them naturally with um, just natural products like Basic H. So everything's just natural and regenerative. And so I have his book here, um, Polyface Designs. Let me, I'm actually referencing it, but this is the book here. You can see that. Polyface Designs. <clears throat> so I'm, um, this is his design, his idea. Uh, I take no credit. I just um, sought out wisdom. And um, this, is, this is what I came up with uh, for the style of, the, star, the style and the method of farming that we want to do here. So basically, this is the chicken tractor here. And so I've, I bought the lumber from Lowe's, and um, I've split it, ripped. They call it ripping when you cut long, the lengthwise. So I've ripped it on the table saw, uh, cut miter saw, and uh, he gives all the dimensions and everything in the book. The only thing that I've done differently is that he recommends using uh, chicken wire to enclose the chickens and also protect them from predators. There's Russo, my guy. Um, he's a Anatolian shepherd. So when you read in the Bible, they were watching their flocks by night. Uh, it's because they didn't have an Anatolian shepherd. So anyways, um, I've changed it to, instead of using chicken wire, using hardware cloth, okay? That's the only change I've made. And uh, I'm going with his aluminum. Uh, he recommends using aluminum, not steel, to reflect the heat and the light to keep the birds cool. And so basically, what the idea is, is to put the birds in here. He says to do 75 birds. He's in Virginia. Uh, but I think probably being in Florida, we're going to do fewer birds per shelter. So it's called a broiler pen or a broiler shelter or a chicken tractor. Or uh, one of my recent favorites that I heard is a cluck truck. Shout out to Aaron. So basically how it works is I welded up this dolly here. I don't know if, how well you can see it. This dolly. And uh, this is just made out of... Um, half inch schedule 40 pipe that I cut with um, a cutoff wheel, a die grinder, and then I welded together uh, just stick weld on my stick welder here. <clears throat> so, and then it's got a couple of um, eight inch um, lawnmower wheels put on it. Don't make fun of my welds. I'm uh, not the best welder, but it's together so anyways so you put the dolly under it and you pull it once a day and the idea is it gives the chickens fresh grass fresh ground fresh bugs but also fertilizes the soil where they were the previous day so <clears throat> basically i'm you know just working on this here in the pole barn 
And uh, so that is what a chicken tractor is. It's to raise meat birds. So the Cornish cross is a special type of breed that grows out in between seven and nine weeks. And so um, the birds will be in here before they're processed and we will pull them across pasture toward morning sunlight every day where they will have fresh ground, fresh grass, fresh bugs. And this is true, true, the true way to raise nutrient dense food. Um, the chickens aren't in a giant chicken house or chicken building where there's no sunlight, they're not getting fresh air. And then when we process them, we'll use all clean water. There won't be any chlorine baths. So it will be, um, I guess you could say it would be organic. Um, I can go over later in a different video what type of feed we're using to supplement the bugs. But the, the, the main thing is that the birds live a happy, healthy life and grow out nice and fat. So they're getting fresh air, sunshine, they're regenerating the soil um, with their droppings. And um, people, at the, the end product is that it's nutrient dense food. So that's a little bit about what we're doing here. Takes me, if I stay on it, can take, I can do one of these in about three days. One, one chicken tractor, one cluck truck every three days. So um, I'll do hardware cloth around the whole side, all four sides, excuse me, and then two handles, one in the front, one in the back. And um, I have this wire strung here from side to side across so that um, it doesn't, you know, spread out under the weight of the aluminum roofing. So, yeah, that's what we're doing here. And uh, hopefully this answers your question. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.